so my latest role is that of ambassador to M Gallery, which is a network of hotels. Um, well, there are 30 different hotels in different countries all over the world, from China to Australia to Switzerland. I travel nonstop. Um, I'm work in all sorts of different countries all over the world and in many different cities. And it's always really important um, because you go away for you can go away for weeks on end. It's always really important to have a good, really good base. And so when you come across a hotel like one of the M Gallery collections, um, it's great because you, fi you find these hotels that are not particularly big. They don't feel like they belong to some massive chain. They each have their own identity. Um, they have all the facilities that you need to be able to sort of live like the way we live every day. We need the internet, we need, you know, all the things that you need in life to sort of keep going and keep working because I'm still working. I may be staying in a, in a, in a hotel in a foreign country or in a different city from where I live, but I still have to keep this idea that I must have like a mini office. Um, so I have that facility. And at the same time, you, you're in surroundings that are really unique. Um, and all those things are really important because if you're staying for three weeks somewhere and you're not on holiday, it's really important to have this feeling of being the same kind of things that you'd find at home, basically. When I, when I work on a character, when I try and you know, play in a different film, it's very much take, taking a journey. Um, you explore all sorts of aspects of that character. And when you're traveling, especially when you're traveling the way I travel, um, you need to be able to find something original and personal and um, special in the place where you're staying because it does you need to be inspired by your surroundings if you're living in a really blank place um, for, for that long you it's not ex inspiring in the mornings um, have something special about them because they all have a kind of history they all have some backstory um, the hotel we're in today uh, is one of the it's the first hotel in Europe to have the telephone <laughs> it's the first hotel in Europe to have its own hot water and, and, um, and bathrooms. And earlier this afternoon, I saw this fantastic little um, catalogue from 1912, I think it was, which showed all the amenities and all the things that were terribly modern at the time, which now, of course, we take completely for granted. Um, when you walk in, you feel you come into the lobby and it doesn't feel like a hotel. It feels like somebody's house. Um, that's what I really like about, uh, about this this kind of atmosphere that we're in now is that you feel that the soul of the place coming through, um, which is which is helpful for when you're going to have to go out that day and, and spend a lot of emotional energy. You need to recharge.